All right, we are back trying to do Algebra 1 work on a Monday, which is something else. If you haven't done so yet, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell. What are what are we already picking on me? Are, are you trying to... No, I mean, no, Friday was Attack Mr. Jeffrey's Day. So it was, you know, I, I didn't know if you were trying to, like, make up for it. Yeah, apparently, you know, we're still on the thing about, you know, people smelling. Okay, all right. So, right, inequality. Now, tomorrow when you get your practice test, it will tell you how many you'll have of these and how much the points will be. Okay, so, you know, it's a number X increased by 4 is greater than 4. Okay, so a number X increased by 4 is greater than 4. Yay. Okay. Number two, the difference of y and seven. Somebody put one time on this when I had it on a test. They said, why is the letter seven's a number? I'm like, why did you do that? They said, it said the difference. No more than nine. The sum of twice the number x and 8, so twice the number x and 8, is at least 20. The product of negative 3 and y, is less than or equal to 24. Shh. All right, so now I don't know if I'm going to have, I, I'll probably have less of these than four on the, t you like these? They're really easy. You're good at them. <laughs> I, we have one student just says, I love these. And another one says, I can't read. Why are you making us do this? So, if where you don't have to solve anything, yeah. Hey, it takes all tops. You know, it takes all tops. All right, are we good through one through four? Anybody need more time? Anybody have a question? All right, good stuff. Now, I try to make this as self-explanatory as possible. Okay. I, I hope I did. Because in years past, it was not in this format and it took forever to grade. All right. So. So we're going to have this. All right. What? What? What did I get? Oh yeah, it's yeah. That's okay. I'll I need to type this out anyways, cause did I call you special? Well, see, that's why I don't have friends, cause then I don't have to worry about them ever letting me down. What what just happened? What just Shh. Hey, y'all y'all are name dropping and like not quietly. Like there listen, there are people in Athens that can hear y'all's conversation right now. Shh. 
Huh? Yeah. So, all right. Now, we're going to plug these in. All right, so we got negative 2 times negative 4. Uh, this is 8 plus 7. This gives us 15. Is 15 less than 11? No. So, we don't put an X right there. All right. Do negative 3. We get 6 plus 7 gives us 13. Okay. All right, negative 4 plus 7. We end up with 3. Is 3 less than 11? Yes. Okay. So, all I'm really doing is plugging those in to see... Uh, what we're going to get, okay, and um, we got to see if it's, for this one, happens to be less than 11. Now, it could change for, you know, one, um, one thing to another, so, you know, we'll see, all right. Hopefully nobody sit there and went, why do I, ha what's all these numbers and this and that and bloop and bloop and bloop. And so. All right. And what I may do is I may actually have, uh, like, see if the following are, if negative six is a solution for the following and have like two of these. And you would just put yes or no. Um, I, I don't know. It just depends on what I feel like later today when I'm tweaking y'all's practice test. Okay. Not like tweaking like the people that do the drugs and stuff. All right. So we're going to solve. This one's being multiplied. Remember, it's a fraction. I can multiply by the flip form or I could divide or multiply by three, divide by two. I'm going to get the same thing. Okay. I'm still going to get n is greater than or equal to negative, let's see, 8 times 3 is 24, divided by 2 is 12. Okay, negative 12, 0, negative 100. Uh, close circle, and I go to the right, because that's where all the numbers that are bigger than 12. And you probably, again, won't have so many of these in this section because, honestly, if you can't do these one-step equations you have or inequalities, you have no hope on the rest of the paper. Okay. Help me over one, Kenobi. You're my only hope. Did you know that the guy who plays Obi-Wan Kenobi in, the, um, in episodes 1, 2, and 3 of Star Wars... His brother is a was a pilot in the British Air Force, and his call sign was OB2. That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I told my wife last night, I said, we were watching Suits, and she said, wait, this guy didn't go to law school, and he passed the bar exam? I said, yeah, certain states, you can do that. Anyways... Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. And I told her, I said, listen, I said, if Alabama was like that, I would take the bar exam and pass and be a lawyer. She said, you would take the bar exam and pass. I said, yeah. She says, how would you do that? I said, think about it. I said, being a lawyer is research and remember out, memorizing abstract f facts. I, she's like, oh, yeah, I got you now.
All right, this one is a closed circle goes to the right. Yeah, I had a student that asked me, and I says, hey, do you watch How to Get Away with Murder? I said, why do I have to watch a show about it when I already know? You totally missed the joke. Yeah, I don't have to watch a show on how to get away with murder if I already know how. Actually, where I live now is more of a in-town thing than I, where I would like to live later. Yep. What? Oh, yeah. All right, so on number eight, number eight, we divided by a negative, so we had to flip the inequality sign. This is an open circle, it goes to the left. I did have one person one time on a graph that went to the left. They put Beyonce. Like like above it, they wrote Beyonce because it goes to the left, to the left. Because you stink, everything. Here's some Deodio in the box to the left. All right. Yes. But I wouldn't like say it out loud. I'm like, hey, I'd probably slip a note. All right, so are we good through eight? Yeah. Listen, this is about as much problems as I have to deal with y'all in a five-minute basis, so you just hold tight. So, <laughs> all right, so solve each inequality if possible. If the inequality has no solution, write no solution. If have IMS, write the answer in space provided. Okay, these you don't actually have to graph. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to move all my variables to the left. And then I'm going to move all my constants to the right. And because my answer is negative, I had to flip the sign, right? No. I don't flip the sign because my answer is negative. I would flip the sign if I multiplied or divide by a negative. Huh? Trick questions. Just to see if y'all are actually paying attention. I didn't know who said yeah, so thanks for calling yourself out. All right, number 10, I'm going to leave the left side alone. Okay. I'm going to move all the variables to the left-hand side. All right, I get 13 is less than negative 10. Is 13 less than negative 10? And this is not a trick question. No. Okay, so we would, remember you can write no solution. Actually write no solution. You could do the circle slash, anything. That was a good pop, by the way. I heard it in my bad ear. Sound like a golf ball bouncing on concrete. So look, the difference between 9 and 10. 9, we actually got a solution. 10, we got a false statement, okay? All right. 
Anybody need more time with 10 out of 10? Yes, no. Catch a tiger by the toe. <clears throat> hey, at least they were drawing and not like erasing. The repetitive erasing. That yeah, that gives me the stabbing feeling. <laughs> Well, he has to have a clean bill of health and a uh, physical on, and a, done by a doctor. So, all right. So, we go with nine and ten. Anybody need more time? Okay. Moving on. Oh. Who said up? Uh, oh. Okay. Well, at least was it a good one? Okay. Then Claire tell better stories. Okay. So we distribute. Okay. Now we're going to, I probably need to do this for people. So they can know. Then we're going to combine like turns, five and four. We get nine X plus four. I think I just heard somebody make fun of somebody else because they didn't have tape with them. That's funny. All right, so we get X is greater than negative four. Okay. So again, it's the same steps as we had for the multi-step equations. Okay. Two. All right, so let's see, I'm going to combine six. This is one. Uh, plus 2x. All right. So moving the variables to the left. Bless you. You're welcome. Moving the constants to the right. How many of y'all thought that this one was going to be no solution when we started? I did. When I first looked at it, I was like, because I saw a 2x and a 2x, I'm like, oh, they're going to cancel, but I didn't look at the signs. Signs, signs, everywhere there's signs. Y'all are too young to know that song. I ate it up like it's my breakfast. I'm good at that too. Hmm? E anything. Just depends on what the price tag is. Who said that's not what I do in the summer? I have. I... All right. So that's 11 and 12. All right. We should actually be able to finish this review and tomorrow's review. <gasps> wow. That's crazy. It's crazy. All right. Anybody need more time? We all got it. Speak now forever. Hold your peace. What time do you get out? Well, let's see. It's Monday, so we go by the purple schedule. All right. So, compound inequalities. Okay. We got to peel these back. 7 is being added to D, so we would subtract. 
negative 10 is less than or equal to D is less than negative 6. Okay, now, let's see negative 10 is here, negative 6 is here. This is a closed circle. This is an open circle, and I shade in between because this is an and sandwich. Okay. Number 14, add one, add one. Pew. So I get 35 is less than 5x is less than 50. Lottie dotty, we divide everybody. We don't cause trouble. We don't bother nobody. We uh, just rock the mic. And when we rock upon the mic, we rock the mic. Right. So, 7, 10, open, open, shade in between. Okay. The, the what, what happened to the alligator sign in between what? The X and the one? Oh, I forgot to write it. No, no, we don't drop it. It's not hot. So, I just was a human for a second. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't even notice I did it. I might need to start taking that alpha brain stuff or something because apparently I'm slipping here lately. You do? Is it good? Doing laundry to fight dementia. Okay, crossword puzzles I can see. Laundry... Uh, I think your great grandma lost it because she did so much laundry. <laughs> yeah. All right. Any more questions on 13 and 14? All right. The fact that I really don't think many people outside of this classroom actually watch these videos. She watches. That's funny. That is great. I bet some of the parents are watching the videos like, when does he go on tour? <laughs> Never. Because I'm, I, I mean, it would be kind of funny if I did try to do stand up. But, like, I'm a situational comedian. Like, I can't go up there, like, like with a joke. And the only person I know that can do that right now and get away with it is Matt Roth. And I can't do that because... Because I'm not, you know, fit and good looking like he is, so. I hear a lot of women go to his uh, shows for the scenery. <laughs> what if he smells bad? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh these these teenage girls like if if he looks good and doesn't smell good it doesn't matter uh, okay <laughs> Okay, so, wow. So, <laughs> remember her. This is what we had from Friday, so if you were out Friday, you may want to really pay attention. 
or if you were here Friday physically but not mentally, you again, you may want to pay attention. So we have the guts, then we have the original, then we have the evil twin. Remember, when you have the evil twin, not only do you multiply this by negative one, but you flip the inequality sign. So x is greater than 2, x is less than negative 2. All right, so there's 6 open this way, and oh, not 6. That should be 2. And then this is negative 2. And, and that way. All right. 17. Yes. Welcome. So the original. Here we have the evil twin. <laughs> okay. Maybe like that episode of Friends where Joey and uh, Phoebe have like a maniacal laugh. <laughs> no? Okay. Didn't land. A swing and a miss. All right. So, believe it or not, this is an and statement here. All right. We have negative 21. And we have seven. They're both going to have closed circles. Okay. The only reason I know this is an and, this one says less than seven. So this is going this way. And this one says greater than negative 21. So it's going this way until they collide. So it's all the stuff in between. Okay. And if that is too hard to read or you don't like it being that messy, you can go boop, boop, boop. Oh, there we go. Now it connects. <laughs> Again, I think a lot of this, the math, I don't think is very difficult. It, I don't, it doesn't seem to me and probably wouldn't seem to me if I was a typical algebra one student. Okay. It's just a lot of steps. Okay. It's just a lot of steps. And some of y'all must be like the people that's like, you're laying down and your phone is just like out of reach. You're like, it's so far. Can't get it. And you sit there and you try to do like your Spider-Man web and it doesn't come out. And you try to use your Jedi power and it doesn't work. And you ask somebody that's walking by, hey, can you hand me my phone? They're like, it's just reach up. No, it's too far. <laughs> I think that's so most of the people in the school. <laughs> All right, so after this one, we only have one more. Woo! Aren't y'all excited? No. All right, everybody got these two. Anybody need more time? Raise your hand. Do not give me the California howdy. Okay. All right. Number 18. What is the first thing we need to do with number 18? Yes, yeah, subtract the 10. Some of y'all are like, oh, I thought we got rid of that after the last test. No. <laughs> it's still around. Okay. So we have the good one and we have the evil twin. See, if y'all had a regular math teacher, do you think that they would have done stuff like open circle, friend zone, closed circle, relationship, um, you know, original, evil twin? All 
All right, again, open circle. This one goes to the left. And open circle. This one goes to the right. Now, when I was making this, I was remembering that I told y'all, I don't think I'm going to actually have you write the inequality. I'm just going to base your answer first on your graph. Okay? And the reason why is because there's a lot going on. All right, with these compound inequalities. So if something is wrong with your graph, I can look back through to see where the issue is. And some of y'all may be like, I think I feel a lot better after that first test because, you know, on the multiple step stuff, he doesn't count the whole thing wrong. Yes. With the, which negative? The negative 12 or the negative 4? All right, remember, when we have the absolute values, we have the original and we have the evil twin. What did we do to the evil twin? We multiplied by, if this is positive 12, this is negative 12, what do we multiply positive 12 be to be negative 12? A negative 1. And in inequalities, when we multiply by a negative, what do we do? Flip the sign. Okay, honestly, it's, if y'all ever heard this, heard the statement somebody, it's not that deep, this is not that deep. It's just, you do this, you do this. Bing, bang, boom. Okay, all right. That's it for today's lesson and review. Don't forget, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell. Stay farce. I'm, I'm, I'm still waiting for a comment on, on those things. Good stuff. Good things. Roll tight.